meant to be a one-off, and that's what it was, was a one-off. Yeah, I didn't hear anything else about it. Mm. I mean, they, they were pushing us hard. I mean, I, you know, we got a win that night, which was, was a big deal for us, and we were just moving. You know, we're moving up the ladder. And the professor, Drew Landry, he said on storytelling, Arn, you talked about this during the show, would Bret Hart make a good agent? Yes, because he knows how to put together a good match and he knows how to play off of last week's story and add to it. Building a, uh, building a match is just like building a show. You, you try to do it, in my mind, get your stories up front, be sure that you cover what happened last week, even if it's what always has been cool to me is if you have something that happened outside of your group or anything like that, let's just say I'm last week I had an angle with Brad Armstrong, but at the end of the show, Dusty had a set two with the road warriors for me to go, you know, da -da 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 about Brad. Okay. But God almighty, man, did you see what happened with so-and-so? It yeah. makes it so the fact that you're willing to dedicate some of your TV time to someone else's angle makes it bigger. Nah, no, no, no doubt about it. I, uh, some of the best of what we saw over the weekend was all great storytelling and, and stories coming to a close and we need that. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm all in uh, GD Willa. And, and again, if you have anything, super chat is the way to go for, and, and will help us, uh, because it indicates that it earmarks it for me. He says, Arn, big fan, couldn't wait till Saturday evening to watch wrestling on TBS in the 80s. He doesn't even have a question. He just wants to say thank you for the memories. Thank you. Without you, we don't have anything, guys. And I appreciate you saying that. Thank you very much. I, the one thing that, that I hear quite a bit at signings in different places is, you were a big part of my childhood. You don't know what that means to me because that, that has a lot of parameters. That means you're spending family time with your father or your mom or your grandmother or grandfather. And it just, the fact that we made that contribution to you growing up, that's why we're still sitting here with something to say and, and people who, who care what it is. Scott Golden is up next, Arn. He says, uh, the Brain Busters were my all-time favorite team. Was there ever any talk of a Brain Busters Heart Foundation program ever discussed in the summer of 1989 before or after that SummerSlam match? Meant to be a one-off, and that's what it was, was a one-off. Yeah, I didn't hear anything else about it. Hmm. I mean, they, they were pushing us hard. I mean, I... You know, we got a win that night, which was, was a big deal for us. And we were just moving, you know, we're moving up the ladder, which I was fine with, you know, what could we have worked a little program? We could have always went back with those guys after demolition, after taking the titles, we could have always doubled back to the Hart Foundation. Yeah. Or at least swapped out some of that bushwhacker time with the Hart Foundation. Oh. God bless him. We lost one. Yeah, that's right. Back. That's right. I, I don't know if you saw it or not, but he, uh, the st I think the, the, the last story I saw, the, there was an issue with him travel and didn't have his blood pressure medicine with him. That led to the, the issue. So such an unfortunate situation. But, uh, yeah, prayers absolutely go out to, to the, his family and the Bushwhackers for sure. Yes. That, that whole deal. John McGrath writes, strange question. Oh, we love strange here. But I always wondered if you knew of any wrestlers who wore a cup slash jock strap. I never inquired. <laughs> you mean you didn't go around and do a cup check? No pecker check in here, <laughs> no Jack. No pecker check in. <laughs> give a shit if you wear a lampshade underneath the tights. None of my business. <laughs> Oh man, that's a good one. That was a good one. A lampshade. Woo! Oh. Oh. 
Sorry, John. Uh, Arn doesn't know that one, but bring the weird. We're here for it. And if you have another one, we'll see if we can help you there. Yeah, I saw the picture online with you and Bret Hart and so many others at, at GalaxyCon. I thought, you know what? This is Lex Luger. I think he was right beside you, you and uh, you and Brock. But I'm like, how cool, you know? It's just for you to be able to catch up with those guys, not only meet the fans, but say hi to your old buddies. Well, and, you know, the guy, there was a gentleman there that uh, asked pretty much just, hey, could I get a picture with all you guys? And he worked something out with Tony Hunter, my, you know, the guy that represents all of us. And uh, he said, what do you guys think? I thought everyone seemed to think it was cool. And uh, you won't find another picture with that group anywhere on earth. And it will never possibly happen again. So the guy jumped on it, and I'm sure he posted it because uh, uh, he was telling me it went berserk on the, on the Internet. So, you know, epic was one of the words used. And it was just a, it's just a, a collection of, of guys that have been in this business for a long time and, and excelled in this business, and to have them all in one picture was awesome. And listen, we're going to continue to try to keep you guys updated uh, with where Arn is headed next. So stay tuned to the show. That's uh, one of the big purposes of, of what we're doing here is not only to relive Arn's story and tell, uh, talk about his history, but also keep you informed of where you can see Arn and talk to Arn, shake his hand, and uh, continue to increase his likelihood of type 2 diabetes. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, that, I mean, because you love it, Arn. You love seeing the, your, these folks. Oh, uh, absolutely. And, you know, it, it's like now I'm starting to – I haven't done that many of these in my career. Now I'm starting to – do enough of them in different areas of the country where I'm seeing repeat fans show up. And I remember them, and I remember our conversation, and they're so kind, and they're so welcoming, and, you know, they want to tell you about their childhood and all that stuff, and I'm recognizing the faces. You know, it's uh, it really is. I need to say thank you to all those folks. Without them, I wouldn't have had a career. And you know what even makes it even cooler? I'll give you guys a little hint. I, I, even outside of the chocolate bars, Arn said put a put a, a stop to that. But I'll tell you what really makes it even more special, and that is if you're wearing some of this stuff like I have right here behind me, that Four Horsemen merch or a T-shirt like Arn has on right now. And Arn, it's a perfect transition because I want to remind everybody that they can go to Box of Gimmicks and they can find that Arn merch and the Horseman merch. Uh, within the last week, that 1990s classic, classic uh, Horseman shirt uh, became available again, Arn. And it's uh, we had the uh, design. You asked if we could get that tightened up by Dominic, and he did with the horses and the logo from that 90s-style Horseman shirt. Guys, it looks phenomenal, Arn, and uh, there's nothing better, I'm sure, for you than when you meet these fans out of these meet and greets to see they're sporting your merch. Love to spot them in line. You know, they got on those horseman shirts, and now the hats are catching on, and you can see them in line way back there, and yeah, it's awesome, man. It really is. So uh, check it out, arnlinks.com or boxagimmicks.com, and get some of your Arn uh, merchandise. Help support Arn or Four Horsemen. And, uh, man, we'd really appreciate it, and I know it means a lot to Arn and his family. Uh, so there you go.